So recently you provided us with some pictures of yourself when you were younger. Yes, I did. So we're going to show you these uh, to you now. Stop uh, it! And learn a little bit more about you. Oh my gosh! I'm excited! I was like happy that people actually want to know a little bit more about us. I thought that was such a great idea. Boy, yeah, this was, I'm guessing, 11 or 12 years old. I was still a fairly good kid then. I don't yeah. think, I, that was, I think that was pre-rebellious stage. I just kind of come into loving performing. I just kind of realized how much I could make people laugh and how much I could see something on TV with dance and copy it. I love this picture. I uh, was one and it was actually a picture that uh, they took and put on a calendar for 1953. I actually have this picture on my desk and uh, I look at it and I try to uh, keep that little one uh, who she is inside of me every day. Oh, <laughs> yes. And we were on our way to church and I had patent leather shoes on. Back then, let me tell you, that was an expensive. I had a little skirt and patent leather shoes, white socks, and, uh, but I don't look happy. But it's a cute little picture. I'm a cool dude. This is, that's why I put this in. This was like, you know, with my big fro. I'm looking at that picture, and that guy has more confidence than I've got right now. I always had kind of this reputation as the guy that did plays and danced and shows and, you know, it was always looking to crack people up. It was a great time, and I tell you why, because I was performing. I love being on the stage. Oh God, I love this picture. I was five, and you can see I was pretty sassy. We lived in North Hollywood, actually not too far from here, which is funny. And um, so, as you can see, my hair now is straight as can be, but for some weird reason, my mom insisted on giving me a perm. I also have this picture on my desk, and I look at it every day, too, because I love her sassiness. <gasps> oh. Yeah, I guess I was in my 20s then. Then that, I had the fro. My first job when I came to California was Security Bank. I had met some people at work and they were having a, a party. My mother was still here, but she wouldn't like to see that bottle of wine. This was a rock musical Noah's Ark thing, and she picked me to dance with her on top. That was wonderful also, because I got to work with animals. I mean, I got buddies with the trainers. I got to walk a 500 pound lion. I got to play with baby tigers. This was one of the greatest years of my life, because I was getting paid to do what I love, and I was around all these incredible animals. This is my high school graduation picture, and you had to go to a studio and they put things around, wrapped you, and you can see that I am not a happy camper. I always worked, and uh, music, dancing, um, marijuana. In high school, we were in the middle of the Vietnam War, and there was protesting, and we were going to parties, and you know, marijuana was just there. Besides drinking, everybody was smoking. Junior high and high school were really, really tough, and um, I was humiliated a lot by teachers, and I was bullied a lot, and so uh, I had no self-esteem. I certainly wasn't that little one in the leopard dress. I was told by my high school counselor um, that I probably wouldn't amount to much which was, nowadays you probably would like throttle a, a counselor that would say that to a child. I was uh, a preschool teacher, so I had three and four year olds that I taught. So teaching has always been my calling. Oh, the bathing suit. Yeah, that's when I had my first boyfriend. I was, you know, in my element and I was away from Joliet. I was away from my family. I'm just gonna do whatever I wanna do. That just brings back memories, positive ones. I never really liked the beach because in the Midwest, I, I just never liked the beach. Um, it didn't do anything for me. This is my boy. I coached three years of baseball because the parents get annoying and um, seven years of soccer. It was just so much fun to work with these kids. To me, it wasn't about winning. And that's why the parents always wanted the kid back on my team. There was no pressure. You learned, you did the best you could. My kids did theater in high school and I, I was in West Side Story. I played Doc in there. My daughter's senior production of West Side Story and both my kids were in it. That was just a joy. Okay, so this is my daughter, Lisa Schwartz, and uh, you may know her as Lisa Bug. She has her own YouTube channel. I was working part-time, uh, I'm still teaching little ones, 
and uh, just, you know, trying to grasp being a wife and a mother and doing the whole, you know, doing everything. It was, um, <clears throat> you were expected to do everything. That's kind of how it was then. I think this is an interesting picture because it's in a theater. We always took our children to theater and, and to live theater, much more so than the movies. And I think that influenced her to be where she is now. It just kind of became a big part of her. That's my youngest son. What's that on his neck? What in the, huh, I need to talk to him about that. He's uh, 37 He's... now, he graduated from TAF, and all his friends were, um, they came from Israel. He's fluent in, in uh, Hebrew. We're very close and he's done very, very well. My oldest one has done, got, has done very, very well as, you know, as well. Take each day at, to the fullest. Be grateful for what you have. Every day tell your children that you love them. Every day tell your children that you are proud of them. And because you don't know if you'll see them you know, the next day or the end of the day. So obviously photography in general was less accessible back when you were growing up than it is now, making it harder to capture moments of yourself when you were young. Right. How has it been for you now having so much of your life and opinions captured here through your experience on the show? It's a little surreal. Watch it back and sometimes I look and say, a million people saw this episode? That's surreal. You get older, you can enjoy this. When you're living this, you're, you're racing through it and nobody knows it like you always say, um, youth is wasted on the young. You really appreciate what your journey's been. And if you can't appreciate what your journey's been, then why did you have it? What's so wonderful about it is that um, we'll always be able to watch it and we'll be able to hear people's voices and, you know, to see that, um, how our personalities, who we are. It's such a great um, way to show our character. And, and how we have a good sense of humor and um, to be okay with just being who we are. I am having a ball. I love my life. You know, looking at those pictures and all those positive experiences, I wouldn't change a thing. Make each day happen. Make each day a valuable day. See the value in other people and and whatever you experience, experience it to the fullest.